Welcome to RPM Midwest's Owner Portal training video, the quickest, easiest way for you to learn how to use your online portal to find out everything you need to know about your property. First, go to our website, www.rpmmidwest.com. At the top, click on Current Owners. Here, you will see the login page for the portal. If you already have an account set up, enter your email address and password, and then click Sign In. If you have forgotten your password, click on Forgot Your Password, and a new password will be emailed to you. If you do not have an account set up yet, click on Sign Up, and you will be emailed login instructions. Once logged in, on the main page, you will be in the My Account tab. In this tab, you can view the community message, which is where we can post any important information that we would like to communicate with you. You can also see alerts to any unpaid bills that might be on your account. Below the alerts is My Contact Information. This is where you can view the contact information we have on file for you. Edit this information, should it ever change. Change your email address and password just by clicking the appropriate link. You can also view any current conversations that you have with the RPM team or start a conversation with RPM by clicking on New Conversation. Anything you post in the conversation section will be forwarded to our support team so that you will be responded to in a timely fashion. If you click on View Detail, you can see all of your information and the options to edit, edit payment account, or change email address and password. If you click on Edit, you can update your mailing address, phone numbers, and your draw payment method. If it says check, you will be sent a paper check. If it says e-check, your money will be sent via direct deposit to the bank account on file. If you have a bank account set up, but your draw payment method is set to check, you will still receive paper checks, so be sure that this is set correctly. If you click on Edit Payment Account, you can enter or change your banking information so that we can send your draw to the correct place and so that you can make contributions to your account when needed. Be sure to enter your bank name, account type, routing and account number found at the bottom of your check, and either your social security number or your driver's license number and state. Be sure that the billing information listed is the same address that you have set up for that bank account. Then click Save. If you click on change email and password, you can edit the email address and password that you use to log into the portal. The next tab, Statements, is where all of your statements are located. The statement period is the time frame that each statement covers. You can click on Download to download the statement or click on View Bills to view any bills from that time frame. If you click on View Bills, you also have the option to view each individual bill from that statement, as well as create your own invoice for that bill, in case you need it for any reason. In the Statements tab, you can also change the portfolio if you have more than one, or the period if you would only like to view statements in a particular time frame. You can also click on Make Contribution Online to add funds to your account with us using the bank information in the system. Below the statements list is a list of any contributions you have made to the account as well as any draws that we have sent to you. Reports is the next tab. This is where you can view your rent roll or any other report that we feel you would like to see. Just click view next to the report that you want to look at and you will see up-to-date information for your portfolio. For example, in the rent roll report, you can see the lease name, the deposit held, the start date, end date of the lease, the monthly charges, the last time the tenant made a payment, and even see if there's any balance past due. 
The unpaid bills report is another way that you can view any unpaid bills on your account. The next tab, Bills, is where you can view the bills on your account. Notice the settings at the top. Again, there's a date range. This will only list bills that are dated during this time frame. So if you want to look for a bill that's older than that, or newer than that, then you can just change the date range. You can also choose whether you view all the bills, only the paid bills, or only the unpaid bills. The last tab, Documents, is where we can share important documents with you, like your management agreement or your lease agreement, so that you can access them whenever you need them. The Owner Portal is a great tool for you to stay in the loop about your property. If you have further questions about the portal, let us know by emailing our support team at support at rpmmidwest.com. Thank you for using RPM Midwest for all of your property management needs.